My name is Mark Ben Barker and I'm uh, age 52 years old and uh, I come from the Kimberley and um, I'm sitting in this beautiful location in my hometown of Broome. I originally come from the Horse Creek area in the Kimberley. Um, my tribe is the Gidja people. Um, my skin is Jawandi. Uh, my mother was taken away when she was three years old. Um, the Stolen Generation movement, of course. And she was taken to Broome, where I've grown up all my life. And uh, she's never really connected, reconnected to family and uh, never really reconnected to her mother. And so those policies that affected her affected me and it will continue to affect my children as well. My connection and association with Stolen Generation Movement goes back to my mother and to a lot of the women who I grew up with um, in Broome at the Holy Child Orphanage and Beagle Bay um, where there was a common bond between all Stolen Generation people and that common bond found themselves as sisters and brothers to each other and um, despite their jovial and happy uh, persona, um, you can see in their eyes they still hurt and they feel pain for what happened in terms of the uh, policies that affected the change in their life but also affected their families and their connection to country and so they lost language and culture and identity um, and a lot of them never reconnected. And So I'm passionate about um, playing a, my part as a descendant of Stolen Generation in trying to help uh, my elderly people reconcile just a little bit of their pain and their hurt and uh, play a role in reconnecting them to country. For us to um, live together as a community, as a whole, um, as Australians, we need to reconcile that history and, and that history is owning it um, and not feel ashamed of that history. It's been, it's a negative history, the fact is it's negative history and our people were classified as flora and fauna our people were massacred, murdered and raped and um, we can't change that history. But that history does not belong to Aboriginal people, it belongs to every Australian. The moment you are a new Australian and you be become an Australian citizen, that history belongs to you as well. So you can't remove yourself from the history because this country was built um, um, on the suffering of Aboriginal people and it still is today. Um, we tend to side um, sideswipe our uh, um, Aboriginal history for some reason and uh, um, we have to own that to become one solid nation. For us to really be united we need to claim that negative history and make ourselves strong as a country and by making ourselves strong as a country we make ourselves a great nation in the world.